Hello and welcome to Sudoku now. Let's have a look at this Heiyawake puzzle by Bakpao. So in Heiyawake you need to shade some of the cells, but two shaded cells can't be adjacent vertically or horizontally. They must not disconnect the unshaded cells, and the numbers you see are the numbers of shaded cells inside the regions. So where do we start? There's one shaded cell, cell here, so this can't be shaded. If this were shaded, then this would have to be unshaded, this would have to be shaded, and this sh unshaded cells would be disconnected from the rest. So this must be unshaded. Hmm. What happens if I do this? Oh. Now, actually, this can't be shaded. And the reason is, if I shade this, then this two must be done like this, and this one must be done like this, and I create an isolated region. So the one is made with this cell. Then there seems to be something similar here. If I try to shade this cell, then this must be unshaded, and this must be shaded. And this is isolated. So the one here is fulfilled with this cell. Now we have either this or that. And in both cases, this can't be shaded. It's the same kind of, of logic. This would shade this cell and isolate this. And I forgot to mention another rule, which is that unshaded cells, a run of consecutive unshaded cells, must not cross two frontiers, two borders. So here, there's one, one shaded here, one shaded here, and here we have either this or that with the three shaded cells in this area. And you can see that in both cases, those two cells will be unshaded. And if I try to shade this, then the second must be this one, we get that. And this unshades this and that and that, because we don't want to Oh, actually, that's already broken, sorry. So, <laughs> in both cases, yes, this must be unshaded and this must be shaded. This is unshaded as well. No, oh, well, this was already broken. And in both cases, I must unshade this and that. If I try to shade this, I get this and this. That doesn't work. And now the, the two shaded cells must be, must be those ones. Let's not disconnect the unshaded region. This pattern would isolate some cells, so let's shade those. So here, I must not cross a second border, so this is shaded. Same rule here, this is shaded. Sorry, this is unshaded. Now there must be one, cell, one shaded cell here, two shaded cells here, so the same happens. I must shade either those three or those three, and in both instances this is unshaded. And I think that's it. So there's one shaded cell here, so this can't be shaded, it's the same logic as up there. And I think here is the same as well. And by this I mean, if I shade this, then I must shade those and that, and this is isolated. So the shaded cell is this one. Shading this would result in this with an isolated region, so this is shaded. And well, that's very much the same as what happened here. So I could have noticed that earlier. So now, 
if I try to shade those ones, I isolate something, so the shaded cells are those. Here, I must not disconnect the, the green, the unshaded region, so this must be unshaded. Here I need to shade three cells, so they are either those three or those three, and in both cases I must unshade this. I'm not sure about this one. Not sure where to look now. This must be unshaded. If I try to shade this, then I must shade those, and this cell is isolated. So this is unshaded. I must shade three more cells here. That's not. Oh, I've mi I've been missing that. I must I must not cross a second border. So this has to be shaded, and this has to be shaded. This must be unshaded to preserve connectivity. So there's one shaded cell somewhere here. Not sure what to do in the rest of this area. This is becoming tricky. So I must shape three cells in here. And one question is, could the three cells be here? If the three cells are here, then connectivity unshades those, and this one is not fulfilled. So there's at least one shaded cell here. Could the three shaded cells all be in here? This would break because those would have to be unshaded. What about this? Well, this would have to be shaded. And that's, that seems to work. That seems to work. Not sure where to look. Oh, this is my genuine lack of vision. This is really, really difficult for me to spot anything. But there's something. Because of the rule of two borders, one of them here <coughs> must be shaded. If I try to unshade both of them, then I break this rule. So one of them is shaded. If this is shaded, then connectivity unshades this one. If this is shaded, then this has to be unshaded. So this is always unshaded. Not a huge, um, not huge progress, obviously, but that's something I noticed. One of them here must be shaded. Not sure what to do with that piece of information. I'm noticing that if I shade this, then I must shade that, and all of this has to be unshaded. And that, that seems, yes, that's it. If I do that, I can only have one shaded cell here, so I must have two shaded cells here, and they must be, 
They must be put in these cells and this area is isolated. So that, that was some kind of look ahead. So this can't be shaded and this has to be shaded. And now this is more interesting because I, I got three dominoes here. And each domino has to contain one cell. So in particular here I, I've got two diagonals. And if I shade those, then connectivity unshades this. If I shade those, then this must be unshaded as well. So this is unshaded, and the two shaded cells here are those. Now, there are two options. This or that. And in both instances, Oops, sorry about that. What can we unshade? We, we always unshade this and that, I think. In this instance, those are unshaded. This is unshaded as well. In the other instance, those are unshaded as well, and this is unshaded. So, in both options, I must unshade all of those. Oh, but here, the frontier, the border rules, unshade those. So this is shaded. I must not disconnect the unshaded region. Here, I must avoid two borders crossed. So that's this. And now the pattern is this one. I still need another uh, three shaded cells. So those must be shaded. And those aren't shaded, and that doesn't trigger. But well, the information that the the answer check wouldn't trigger was given by Backpow uh, when well when when he communicated his puzzle pack. So that's it for for this puzzle, which was not easy. Not sure whether. The actual puzzle in the contest will be easier or not. Well, we'll see. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon on Sudokanar.